Hey guys, my name is Johanna and I'm a third year European Studies Bachelor student. Hello! I thought I would just shortly update on where I am because I think um, some weeks ago I told you about my timeline, which I'm saying like, yeah, in which I put myself some deadlines. And I just want to show you where I am because I'm actually pretty proud that I made it so far. What is it? Second? Give me a second. So this super beautiful timeline, but you can see everything that is like pinkish is already done. And I submitted yesterday my second um, draft or the draft of my second chapter. So now I, sh yeah, that's not really, yeah, happening. But anyway, so I just have to write my third chapter, like the draft, and then revise and get feedback. And then we're already there. So that actually gives me extra motivation to push through until the end. And now I'm actually starting my uh, working day and I will take you with me a bit. And later I also have a tutorial and obviously I will also film there for you. Because I'm wondering, like, if you understand that there are different levels of analysis. Oh god. And then you've got micro level. Yeah. And micro have a very weird Are you filming now? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm filming everything. It needs to be. No, seriously. You are. You are explaining it so well right now, like I've struggled with that so much, it's so helpful. So, um, I'm actually done with my tutorial, as I promised, I filmed a bit for you. And um, I thought I would tell you a little bit about what I'm actually researching, so a little bit about the content, about my analysis. And I thought this would be best with the visualizations. So in the beginning of my analysis, I'm actually um, analyzing the... Yeah, let's say the front page of the first of, of the book which I show is from the memoirs of Lady Hester Stanhope and here you can see it I think that's very um yeah I think that's that says a lot actually <laughs> in this one picture so I just wanted to yeah let you know a little bit about that so here you can see Lady Hester Stanhope riding on a on a horse and you can see she's wearing a turban and like a long coat. So the turban back then was actually, or in the Ottoman Empire, the turban was more, um, was reserved for men. So, I mean, she's a woman, but she decided to wear um, a male symbol. So I think that's something which you can see throughout the whole book. So throughout the whole book, she's not only challenging the imperialist discourse in a way that she's borrowing elements from the local culture, but she's also challenging the prevailing gender norms back then, because you know, the, the imperialist mindset back, mindset back then was that, you know, we, the Europeans, we're going out and dominate other cultures, you know, dominate other, other nations. Um, and we're, you know, like for different reasons. Like, I don't want to get into this whole imperialist thing right now, but just to give you an idea. So um, this was the mindset of like the European culture, or in this case, the British, was like superior and that they have a uh, moral obligation to... Um, you know, to, to um, teach other cultures, uncivilized cultures, and to, to um, dominate them. Um, yeah, so just really roughly. So with going native, basically, you know, like, now as I already explained, like adopting to local cultures outside of Europe um, and borrowing features of them, of their culture, um, people challenge this discourse, you know, they challenge this whole idea of that this one race is, is superior and the other one is... is um, that's the opposite of superior. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think in this in this uh, picture you can see this clearly that Lady Hester did not, um, she did not really fit into this imperialist discourse. Um, and she also did not fit into this discourse about how women are supposed to be. So she also challenged the prevailing gender norms. Uh, actually, tomorrow I'm driving back to Maastricht. Um, the measures, or like the corona measures, are slowly getting a bit loosened. And I'm um, going back tomorrow to actually start into my last chapter of my thesis, into or like yeah, of my of my journey. Um, yeah, the last four weeks of of the thesis of my studies, actually of my bachelor start. Um, and obviously, I will also take you with me on this journey. So I hope 
you all enjoyed this uh, third vlog. Um, yeah, I'm driving back to Maastricht now. Um, yeah, so that my my last uh, month in Maastricht begins, last month of my thesis. But obviously, I will also take you with me on this journey. Uh, I hope you liked this vlog, and um, yeah, see you the next time. <laughs>